Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this episode. More about them later in the video. Nano banana. 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 A few days ago, image editing changed forever. Google released Gemini Flash 2.5 image, coincidentally with the same nickname my ex-girlfriend gave me, Nano Banana, that has everyone buying puts on Adobe because Photoshop is officially dead. Instead of learning how to use all these antique tools, you can now just prompt Nano Banana for changes and it's able to deliver any photo alterations you can imagine. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you where to find Nano Banana and more importantly, how you can use it as a thumbnail designer and how it's a real game changer in this field. So let's dive right in. Recently, I've been getting a lot of messages asking where I use Nano Banana. Honestly, these are my three favorite places to use this AI tool. The first website is LM Arena, which is a great platform that lets you use almost any AI model for free, not just for images. You can search for any AI model and it will appear. There are also a lot of features you can explore. To use Nano Banana, simply select image generation, choose the Nano Banana model and enter your prompt. The second website is Gemini, which is very user friendly. I've been using Gemini even more than ChatGPT lately. The best part is that it has Nano Banana integrated. Just click on the picture option, type your prompt and your image will be ready in seconds. The third and final website is Google AI Studio. This one is unlimited and highly customizable. You can tweak even the smallest details. You get a certain number of tokens to use, but if you click chat again, it resets, allowing you to use it as many times as you want. The downside is that this website isn't available in all countries, so make sure to check before using it. One of the coolest things about Nano Banana is that it can colorize images. Many AI tools can do this, but Nano Banana does it really well, keeping all the original details intact, unlike some ChatGPT models. You can also ask it to enhance images and add more details, which is impressive. Another great way to use this AI is to enhance and fix old images. This is especially useful for thumbnail designers, particularly if you work with historical content. It allows you to create unique images of historical figures for your thumbnails, making them stand out. You can even ask it to make the images look more realistic. Here, you can see the before and after. Another great way to use the colorize feature is for adjusting unwanted lighting in images. For example, let's say I have an image of Cristiano with some lights on his face that I don't like, and I want to remove the orange glow. It's actually pretty simple. Just export your image, head over to Nano Banana and tell it to colorize. Then using the mask tool and a brush with zero hardness, paint over the areas with the glow. This way you get an image without unnecessary lights. This is especially handy if a client sends you images with distracting lighting. The way I've been using this tool the most is changing clothes. You can literally go crazy with it when it comes to customizing outfits. For example, I told it to put Mr. Beast in clothes from the second world war and here's the result. In another case, I changed his outfit to a black suit, which is something he often wears in his thumbnails. This tool also comes in handy for kit swaps in football thumbnails. Just take an image of your player and the kit you want, tell the AI to do a kit swap and it will handle it. What used to take hours, from masking to painting, can now be done in a click. If you notice any mistakes, you can still tell the AI to add missing elements, like a Spotify logo in my example. The result is crazy. I'm honestly speechless. This is a total game changer and saves so much time. I'm really glad I didn't waste hours before learning this, or I would have felt the pain much harder. But still, learning is one of the best things you can do as a thumbnail designer. Even just 10 minutes a day makes a difference. A great way to do that is with today's video sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is completely free and with just a few minutes a day, you can grow your knowledge in all kinds of STEM subjects, math, coding, data analysis, and more. Personally, I've been using it to sharpen my math skills with a visual algebra course, which has been really helpful for my bachelor's degree at university. Brilliant takes you from the basics like visualizations all the way up to advanced topics like regression, so there's truly something for everyone. To start learning for free, head over to brilliant.org slash baddest designs. You can also scan the QR code on screen or use the link in the description. And as a bonus, Brilliant is giving our viewers 20% off an annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. Another cool feature is making people hold objects, which is really handy for thumbnails. For example, I took a plate of spaghetti and added M&M, and the AI did a great job keeping the plate exactly as I provided it. You can also do this by just uploading your person's image and letting the AI generate the object itself. You can even ask it to change facial expressions, which is amazing. Before, doing this with the liquify tool was really time consuming. Another great trick is with 3D text. You can search Pinterest for 3D text styles, then upload the image to Nano Banana and tell the AI to change the text to whatever you want. This way, you don't need to learn 3D rendering or spend money on 3D text packs. Everything becomes possible. That said, while recording this video, 
I noticed that Nano Banana sometimes struggles with censoring things like violence, guns, or broken cars. So keep an eye on that. If you want to generate these types of images, you can try Grok AI, Elon Musk's model, which lets you generate almost anything. Just don't go too crazy with it. Here, I uploaded a thumbnail I made and asked Nano Banana to change the icons I created with social media logos. As you can see, this is the result. I wasn't completely satisfied, so I might ask it to add a hologram effect to make the icons look more realistic. In another example, I uploaded a chess thumbnail with Magnus Carlsen looking sad and asked the AI to make him crying and more emotional. The result wasn't bad, but I wanted the emotions to be stronger, so I asked it again. The final result looks very striking and definitely works as a thumbnail. Another thing people often don't mention is the speed and capability of Nano Banana in generating high quality images quickly. For example, you can also give it an artistic style like Van Gogh without worrying about copyright issues. Speaking of copyright, you can even generate images of real people. For instance, I asked it to generate an image of Eminem wearing traditional Arabic clothes. This isn't something available in many image generators, especially in the latest OpenAI image generation models, which often have strict restrictions. One of the best use cases for Nano Banana as a thumbnail designer is fixing backgrounds. Let's say your client sends you a photo for the thumbnail, but the background doesn't look good. You can simply ask Nano Banana to improve the background, make it look more professional, add plants, or even take inspiration from other people's setups. For example, I asked it to recreate a background inspired by Iman Gadji's setup, and the result was amazing. It didn't change the face at all, it only worked on the background. Honestly, this is probably the feature I use the most. In another case, I uploaded a thumbnail I had made of Shaq and asked it to change the yacht in the image to a golden one. As always, it didn't disappoint. It even added reflections in the water and matched the overall vibe of the thumbnail perfectly. Another great place to find inspiration for image generation is Sora AI by OpenAI. It offers a wide variety of styles and can give you plenty of creative ideas for your thumbnails. And that's it everyone. Those are the main ways I've been using Nano Banana as a thumbnail designer. I have to say, I'm really enjoying it. It's a game changer that makes the process both faster and more enjoyable. Now, for anyone wondering if this will replace thumbnail designers, the answer is no, at least for now. It's simply a tool that helps us work more efficiently. Of course, the future may bring changes, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on the latest in thumbnail design. A big thank you as well to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description. See you in the next episode.